Hello YouTube, Brent Peter here with you. Coming to you from the Casa, here in Tele. Here in between the sleepy little town of Valencia and Dumaguete. Uh, it's about 11.30, so I'm gonna sneak on down here. I gotta, I gotta, right across from this little high school, there's a chicken lady. She comes and rides her motorcycle with that little tricycle, fries chicken, and sets up every day right in front of the high school, so. I'm gonna get over there before the before the noon rush, grab me a few pieces of chicken, and I'll get back with y'all. Once again, I flipped this camera around so y'all can kind of see the, the view I'm working with. Folks, I love the view. I love the I love the walking out on my porch and seeing how busy it is outside. You know, it's kind of like I'm in the action without having to get out there in it, which is good for for me because sometimes I don't like to get out in it, but. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak on over there. Like I say, the high school turns out or uh, turns loose about 12 o'clock, and she feeds a bunch of them. So I'm gonna get over there, grab me a few pieces of chicken that way I'll have some on hand, and then like I say, I'll get back with you. We may go for a little dip in the pool. Uh, we'll be back with you in a bit. Okay, folks, I'm back. Went and seen the chicken lady. Picked me up 10 pieces of chicken for 150 pesos. And that's just under under three dollars. Uh, I'm gonna be a chicken eating some bitch if that's the case. She's there every day. She sets up every day. I've I've been been keeping my eye on her, seeing seeing when the when the high time was, when the low time was, and and seeing she really got hit hard yesterday about about dinner time. So I snuck down there and got me some chicken today. And the taste of that chicken, I'll be I'll be hitting her up pretty frequently. Fifteen pe uh, fifteen cents for a piece of, or fifteen pesos for a piece of chicken. And you can get, I don't know, uh, legs. They was whole leg. Looked like banny chickens though, cause they're little bitty legs, but uh, still four pieces of chicken for a dollar. You can't beat that. Uh, and right across the street, I got a little sorry, sorry store. I hadn't, I hadn't checked it out yet, but but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit them up this evening. I've had a cold. I got a cold last night or something. Had a scratchy throat. And so I'm gonna run over there see if they got some cough drops or I may have to go down to the pharmacy to do it. I need to run downtown and pick up my laundry. I don't have a I don't have a washing machine at this place, which is uh, kind of sucks. I, I was used to having a washing machine at my old place, but I'll get over it. Uh, I, I do notice that, that that I have been going to Dumaguete more. Uh, when I lived at Valencia, hell, I'd never go. Maybe maybe twice a week. I would go to quiz night. Maybe maybe one other time, and I may not do that, but but usually once a week. Uh, I've lived here three days and I've been shit at least three or four times, you know? And of course, a lot of that was running errands, trying to get stuff for the for the house, you know? I, I'd, I'd moved, so I needed to I needed to buy big bottles of shampoo and that kind of stuff and and tried to get some ice trays. Can't find no ice trays in Dumaguete or at the uh, Hypermart. They didn't, said they was out of stock. And when you ask, when you ask somebody that works at the store, got a, got a damn dog barking. When you ask somebody that works at the store, uh, a lot of times they'll tell you out of stock just because one, they don't want to talk to you, and two, they just really ain't confident in what you're really asking them. So their go-to is out of stock. But I asked two or three of them, and they give me the same same story. So I and I still walked around and couldn't find them. Okay, folks, I'm back. Kind of tried to wait for that dog to shut up. I don't know if he's ever going to shut up. Maybe maybe it's a little quieter now. But yeah, today's Wednesday, uh, so it is quiz night. So I will be headed to Dumaguete tonight. Check out a little quiz night. Uh, don't have don't have much plans after that. Uh, it is Oktoberfest. There goes that dog raising hell again. It is Oktoberfest here in the Philippines, and the Brew Garden. They're having a big deal tonight. They're having a, a live band. I think three out of the next five nights are going to have live bands and. Uh, but I, I told the owner that I would I would come uh, for at least one of them. But tonight's tonight's my quiz night, so I'll probably go go do that. I told him I said, yeah, I've got got quiz night on on Wednesday. He said, well, this this band's only going to be here once at quiz nights every Wednesday. So yeah, well, that's what I do on Wednesday. So uh, looking like I'll probably go to quiz night and just catch one of them. But that was the deal. The the band I wanted to see was tonight. The the 
the other two, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what kind of music they play, but the the one that really stuck out to me was was tonight. So uh, I'll probably miss that. I might, I might catch the tail end of it after the quiz night. Slide in, see see what's going on. But it's usually uh, quiz night's usually over about 10 o'clock, and that's what time the band usually usually stops at the at the brew garden. So we'll play that by ear. And it's looking like I'm going to Thailand, uh, November 4th, probably. Uh, my buddy, he went ahead and bought him a ticket. So uh, if, if nothing changes, I'll be, I'll be headed to Thailand. So if anybody's around wants to go to Thailand, about the 4th, we're gonna be headed to Thailand. I don't know, stay a week, two, three, I don't know. Uh, just play it by ear. Uh, even though I just got back. Who knows, may slip over to Cambodia while I'm there, but no, uh, no big plans other than that. That's the only thing in the foreseeable future uh, that, I, that I've got a plan for. Uh, other than that, I am, I've got to say that I am happy with the decision to, to move to this place. Uh, you know, a lot of times here in the Philippines, you'll move somewhere. And, and this is me talking, uh, especially when you're dealing with contracts, when you've got to stay a certain amount of time. Hell, I have I have hard time committing to a, a hotel that I've never been to for over three days because you know, you get a hard bed or something, it just, uh, just makes the stay uh, miserable to me. And location, location, location. I wasn't worried about this location so much because like say I had an Airbnb just down the road, uh, was more in a, a private area, more, more in a residential neighborhood very peaceful very quiet but it was it was you know it, it'd probably take 10 minutes to get there from here and and then you still got to decide if you want to go to Dumaguete or, or Valencia so uh, this location is a hell of a lot better I'm right here you know halfway in between them and can get to either one of them no problem uh, it's not not as easy as just uh, crawling out of bed there in Valencia and just rolling down the hill a block or two and I was I was right there on the on the main the main park or the Siban or whatever you call it right there by the red table and all my favorite restaurants. So, uh, but like I say, I'm thinking about joining a gym. There's a gym just right up the road. Uh, trying to get my ass in some shape. I have lost. I've lost some weight uh, when I got back from uh, Boracay. I was I got up to 230 pounds because I was eating nothing but spaghetti and and bullshit. I'm down to two. I was 202 this morning, so I've I've, I've been sticking to my my diet pretty good. I said to hell with all that oh uh, no carb shit. That that wasn't working for me. You know I, I'd lose a little bit and then I would I would carb up because I you know I was craving that shit so bad. I would cookies and cakes and pastas and all that. So I'm just eating whatever the hell I want, but only eating about once a day, and it's been working. It really has. So uh, I'm I'm like I say I'm down to 202. That's 28 pounds and about three months so uh the big the big deal where i i just kind of lucked into the or discovered it by by going to thailand when i went to thailand i wouldn't eat i was uh trying to fast all day and just eat eat once a day and i was putting my money in them little weight machines and, and seeing the weight coming off like that so i, I stuck to that well i when i got back to the philippines i gained about 10 more pounds uh I was down to 203 when I was in Thailand, and I got I got back up to about 213, and and I've knocked it off. So uh, that eating once a day, I can kind of eat whatever I want, and and that seems to be doing a whole lot better for me. I did fall off today and eat a little chicken from the went and seen the chicken lady this morning and and ate a few pieces of chicken, but uh, not enough to hurt me, not enough to throw me off, but. Yep, that's that's my little update. Like I say, I, th I think there's still one apartment left. I hadn't talked to the guy about it, but I, I just by just by looking, there hadn't been any activity going on. Uh, they did, they did rent this two bedroom out. They've been working on it and uh, buying brand new appliances. Let me see if you can see that. That's the two bedroom, and those are that's my apartment right there above the above the wall. But yeah. Uh, Trying to vlog from my from my patio can get a little noisy during during the middle of the day, uh, but at night time it calms down. There's there's hardly you know hardly any traffic. And as soon as you say that, here will come a damn uh, motorcycle with no no pipes on and ruin the whole damn deal. You know they say the 
the louder the motorcycle, the dumber the operator. I think there's a lot of truth to that. But yep, yeah, oh, uh, just sitting here enjoying the day. Uh, sun come out a while ago. It's 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 hiding again. So I guess I'll get off here and uh, next time I'm, I'll try to make a video. I, I told my buddy I'd make kind of a checklist of uh, if you're coming over to the Philippines or any other country for very long at all. Just some just kind of a checklist of, of what to bring, what not to bring, and and, and kind of what uh, you know banking information, phone information. Uh, just that kind of stuff. So I'll probably be making one of them in the future. I don't know if I'll be making a cost of living video because I've only been here. I've only been back in the Philippines for nearly three weeks now. Even though I do know, I do know what my bills are going to be, except for the electricity. Uh, who knows? I may make one of them too. I know a bunch of y'all don't like them, but a bunch of you do. They seem to get a lot of views for, for all y'all that don't like them. So anyway, uh, I don't know why y'all are ragging on me about this awesome joe dirt haircut i got going on but i was actually thinking about cutting it till y'all started giving me shit in the comments and so now i might might keep it another week or two when you go to getting a little thin on top you try to grow that hair wherever the hell you can grow it and i'm getting a little thin on top so hell i thought i'd grow it out the back keep my neck from getting getting some skin cancer or whatever but the hell of the shit when it dries out it curls up so hell it don't even cover my neck so i may be getting rid of that i don't know uh, play it by ear uh but if i do it won't be for you jackasses giving me shit in the comments anyway folks that's all i've got for now i appreciate all y'all watching uh nearly got 3,000 subs i appreciate each and every one of you uh thank y'all for coming along this branch tripping